Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SE front wheel drive. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with Shetland beige leatherette interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED poor weather lights, push button start, keyless entry on two doors, black roof rails, 18 inch alloy wheels, LED tail lights, turn signals and reverse lights. Faux exhaust tips on the back here, LED tail lights. There's the pattern for them right there. It says SE on the corner there. This is a value packed Atlas. So if you're looking for an Atlas, but the pricing of the Atlases has kind of, uh, kind of uh, kept you from buying, this is a great option here because this one's under 36,000 bucks. So let's take a look inside. As we open this up here, it has a protective seat cover right here. Uh, there's a look at the Shetland beige interior though. It continues on the door here with the premium stitch right here in the inset. The arm pad right here is also Shetland beige. Everything's beige here. The window switches are all trimmed out in black with the little silver tips there. Same with the door lock here and wood grain right here. That wood grain goes across the dash into the door over on that side as well. You have a manually adjusted headrest here with the white contrast stitching here on that. Um, there's the button for it there, and then it goes down the bolster here too. It's kind of hard to see here because this plastic's covering it up, but it is there as well. For that seat protection there, uh, or for the seat operation there, there's your uh, lumbar support right there, forward and back. Then your um, forward, back, up and down seat adjust, and then your seat back adjust right here. As we climb in here, We'll notice the floor is black down here. So it's black carpeting on the floor. So anywhere you're gonna get dirt, it's col colored darker. Uh, you have a darker dash up here as well. Nice flat and great visibility here. Storage bin right here. And then uh, you also are gonna get a digital cockpit right here. Three main setups here or displays here. This is the blended screen. Then you have the, uh, the, uh, the um, speedometer screen and then the tachometer screen here. Temperature gauge is over here. Fuel gauge is over here. Telescoping steering wheel, you can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you need it. That flat silver finish right there, the Volkswagen logo in the middle. Your cruise control operation is right here. Uh, your safety systems here, side assist, rear traffic alert, and front assist, those are all standard on the car. You can turn that off. And then I also have, uh, well, this button here for those view buttons there. Um, automatic headlights right here. I can pull out on this guy and that turns on my poor weather lights. They replace fogs, uh, but I make sure I push that back in and leave it on auto there so that way the headlights go on and off and not stay on all the time. Coin box right there for storage. Very nice. The flat silver finish from the steering wheel is picked up right here around the vents and goes across and trims out that wood grain and into the door panel there. There's a look at your rear view mirror right there. You do have rain sensing wipers. You can tell by this little bulb up here uh attaching that mirror there and then you do have a vanity mirror with an led light above on each side here that's real nice too your uh um, sunglass holders right here and then your car net features are all right here your information roadside assistance and emergency services button right there there's a look at the headliner there it's a light colored headliner this car with all the light color makes it feel super spacious and huge on the inside there's a closer look at that wood grain right there. There's a look at your glove box. Manuals are right here. Tire warranties and what have you are in this little Ziploc bag right here. Lots of bottle and cup storage there. And also over here on this side. This seat is a manually adjusted seat. There's the loop right there to slide the seat forward and back. We'll slide that back. There's only a handle over here to adjust the seat back pitch. You cannot raise or lower this seat. It is fixed. So... If you're looking for a seat, a passenger seat that you can raise and lower, you're going to need to move up to the SEL unit to do that. There's a look at that black carpet again right there. The armrest is also trimmed out in leatherette, uh, the Shetland beige, and then there's black carpet on the inside. There is no USB-C right here. The two USB-Cs you have up front are going to be the two that you have. No wireless charging here. This is just storage. You have to move up to an SE Tech to get the uh, wireless charging. And then you get a 12 volt charger port right there. Those two charger ports or plug-ins right there are backlit so you can see those. You do also have heated seats, 
for the front two seats, three phase. So you can turn that to, it starts out on high, then medium, then low, then off. And then you also have a single zone climate zone. So everybody's kind of sharing uh, the same climate control here. Um, even your rear passengers. Rotary dial right here, or just a dial to adjust instead of the push button or the touchscreen type setup. AM, FM radio right here. No satellite on this one, but you do get AM and FM. Here is a look at your rear view camera. It's a static camera, no trajectory steering there. The red line signifies where your bumper is. The green line just goes straight back. Um, as I said before, this is an AM, FM radio. Now you do have App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirror Link. Connect it to one of those two USB-Cs down there with your phone. Uh, let's take a look at the back seat here, or the middle row, I should say. There's a look through again right there. And this is a bench setup. So when I get back there, you'll notice that that is three seats in the middle and then two seats in the back. That keyless entry is on the front two doors only. You do get sunshade still in the side passenger doors, the two rear passenger doors. Uh, you do have a bench set up here. There's not an option for captain's chairs on this one. This unit comes in. This one's already sold. $35,095. There are no extras on this one. So you can get this guy stripped out. That's what this one is. No floor mats, no nothing else. $35,095, okay? Here's a look at the seats here. Three car seat setups here. One right here, one right here, one right there. To lift up on this guy right here to get to the third row seats. The seat pitches forward, the bottom drops out. So you have car seats attached here, booster or front facing boosters. You don't need to remove them to get to the third row. Those just flick up with the flick of a wrist there, uh, the headrest there, and notice how high off the floor the seat sits. So a six foot four person is still gonna be comfortable back there. There's a sculpted roof line, allow for extra headroom there. And then you have a still reinforced plate behind the seats here, behind the seat there, behind these two seats as well. That's in the event of a rear impact crash. Anything that's back there cargo wise does not penetrate these seats and injure a person sitting in them. To lift this seat up, you just lift up and push the seat back. There's also, whoops, yep, I did lock it down. It just didn't seem like it. And then you can slide that seat back. 60-40 split there, car seat there, car seat here, car seat here. Fold down armrest right there, squishy yet firm, and adjustable headrests on one, two, three seats. Very nice. Let's take a look at the back here. I'm gonna pick this up and put it back where I found it there. Oh, the climate control right here, you can adjust uh, fan the the uh, fan speed and also the vent setting right here feet feet or floor and then you do have a 12 volt charger port down there as well back here in the back it's a manual lifted uh, manual hydraulic assisted lift gate so once you get it halfway the hydraulics will take over and take it the rest of the way up there is a 12 volt charger right there there is not a USB-C connection back here uh, you have to go up to the SE Tech to get the two extra USB-C connections there. Here's the floor right here. There's a carpeted floor here underneath this guy right here. You just remove this guy right here and then your spare this carpeted floor comes out and your spare tire is below that. There's a look at your jack apparatus off to the side. There's more of those steel reinforced seats there. Velcro attached here to the back to keep this strap in place. You can just fold this seat down and this seat down. And there you have it. You have cargo space here. Those two seats will fold down as well. You have continuous cargo all the way up to the front, the back of the two front seats. C pillars for, uh, for passenger comfort back here. For your third row passengers, they still get C pillar vents. You have storage here off to the left and also off to the right as well. A bag hook hidden over here on this side. And I can just lift up on this guy right here and lock it back in place. And same with this side over here. Just lift up on the guy right here and lock it back in place. There's your handle to close the hatch there. It says Atlas right here at the back. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I will give you a third year free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. And also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, remember you can fly in and drive out. I'm gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 year, 200,000 miles. Engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 
So if you're interested in a car like this, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.